that away. There's what you get. <coughs> That cough just won't go. Peter Simon always says that, don't he? I, mean, I don't know whether you've heard him say it. He always says, oh, I've, ooh, I've slept in a wet bed. What's that about? And he said that for about six years to me. Now, I, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would have thought, you know, he'd have dried that bed out by now. It's just a suggestion, but for God's sake. Uh, £14.98. Oh, I've slept in a wet bed. What? Who gets in a wet bed in the first place? I mean, if somebody's lost control of themselves in the bed, don't sleep in it after them. Try the thing. Try it. Right. Um, get in quick. Get in on this quick. I bet Peter's got a deep fat fryer. Yeah. Oh, I bet he has. I wonder what he. I wonder if he. Oh, he's coming now. He's coming now. Peter, come on, walk this way. Walk this way. Say it Ask again. Him to his bed. What? What did you say? Walk what? Did, what? Go, 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 what, what, you what did you just say there? Uh, say the line again. Ooh, look at you. Walk this way. Was it? Like the cock of the north. Let me see what. If I walk, please. Get him. If I walk Alpha that way, male. <laughs> if I walk that way, I wouldn't need the talcum powder. Now, let thank you. <laughs> Laughter not permitted in the establishment of entertainment. Have you ever had one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I must show you it. Stand there, Listen just to entertain this. the nation. I'll hey, be back. Me, this I'll afternoon, be back. we're talking about the deep fat fryer because uh, regular viewers will know I love fish and chips, and I'm a keen. And my grandfather before me was actually a baker. Now, I've got you, it. Have you? Oh, Tuesday. Now then. Have you seen the size of this? Do you know? A man, a man came today from Tesco. I thought you'd like this. <laughs> a man came today from Tesco's. No. Yes. And he knocked on my door. I bet he did. He said, may I give you six at once? I said, my devil. <laughs> now then, this, this is a banana from Ecuador. No, we'd have never guessed. Look at the size of it. You and straight, have you ever seen such a straight well, one? Well, I must be honest, he opened his drawers today, he showed me that, I nearly went dizzy, didn't I? He could do some damage, couldn't he? <laughs> Are you going to batter it? Whoa, that's not a bad idea. You could deep fry your banana. Have you ever deep fried your banana, Uncle Peter? I have got Royal Worcester coming up in about 20 minutes' time. Don't go away. Do you know what? I'm going to have a lie down. It's Tuesday. Here he goes, off to his wet bed. <laughs> Ecuador. They're producing big ones. Look at that. Uh, look at the price on the deep fat fryer. Look at this. Banana not included, incidentally. We've done an audition with little people. Yeah, I don't mean Keith Chegwin. I mean children. Uh, although Keith's not busy at the moment. I've not seen him for a while. Do you know where Keith Stop is? It. He'll know. Hang on a minute. Hello, hello. <laughs> Do you know where Keith Chegwin is at the moment, Peter? Do you have any idea? He is busy. 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 You see, he knows them all. He knows them all. Andy Crane. He's never busy. He used gestures with that one. <laughs> um, £11. <laughs> and it wasn't. Come on. The crankies want to come on. Do they? Right. <laughs> 11 <laughs> Good heavens. Um, he was very insistent, wasn't he? Um, 11 .90. If you meet him down a dark alley, make sure he hasn't got his Ecuadorian banana out. Uh, I shall see you next Sunday night at 10 o'clock. Peter's here next.